Light has a profound impact on our mood, our focus, and our levels of alertness. This is why I'm always telling people that they should get outside in the morning and get sunlight in their eyes as soon as the sun is out. This will tend to elevate the hormone cortisol, which most people associate with stress. And in fact, cortisol is a so-called stress hormone. However, we want our cortisol levels to be elevated early in the day because that elevates our daytime mood, focus, and alertness and the functioning of our immune system. Turns out that viewing bright light, ideally from sunlight, early in the day, elevates cortisol levels by up to 50%, which again is what you want early in the day. However, later in the day, when most people tend to be indoors, and certainly after sundown, the artificial light that comes from typical indoor lighting nowadays, which is LED lighting, is enriched for the wavelengths of light that we call short wavelengths. So this would be the blues, the greens, even if the lights don't look blue or green, even if they're just white light, they tend to be enriched for those shorter wavelength blue and green wavelengths. What that does is it tends to elevate cortisol at exactly the time of day when you want cortisol going down. It also tends to elevate our levels of alertness. And again, that's not what we want. What you want after sundown is to get as little bright light from any source in your eyes as possible. However, most of us, including me, are indoors in environments like my home, other people's homes, restaurants, we go out, etc. And it's very important to try and limit the amount of short wavelength light that you get in your eyes at that time, because again, that will help reduce cortisol and it will also make it easier to transition to sleep later that night. That's why I partnered with Roka to develop these Roka wind down lens glasses. What they do is they don't just blue block, they're not blue blockers in the typical sense. They block all the short wavelength light, including the blues and the greens that come from those white LED lights, as well as any lights that actually appear blue or green. And as a consequence, you can see in the environment you're in, you don't have to change the indoor lighting and it makes it very easy to fall asleep later that night because your cortisol levels are kept low and your melatonin, that hormone that transitions you to sleep, can remain high. Most people don't realize this, but even 15 seconds of exposure of bright artificial light to your eyes after sundown dramatically reduces your levels of melatonin, that hormone that helps you fall and stay deeply asleep. So what I find is when I wear the Roka wind down lenses, it's much easier to fall asleep at night. The Roka wind down lenses have dramatically improved my sleep. They also have a very nice calming effect if you put them on in the evening after sundown. I don't recommend you wear them while you drive, but if you're in an indoor lighting environment that has artificial lighting, and most all artificial lighting nowadays is going to be of the sort that's going to suppress melatonin, which you don't want, and elevate cortisol, which you also don't want, these Roka wind down lenses solve both problems simultaneously and they've really improved, as I said, both my sleep and as a consequence, my levels of mood, focus, and alertness throughout the day.